Rock says that in fact you impersonate. How did it actually start off in the impersonation game? I think it's something that I've always done. Everybody uh, you'll find, I think, who does impersonations, they all say, uh, oh, well, I've done it. I've always done it, you know, hello, mate. And uh, ever since I was a little boy. Did you start off um, taking the audio side of things, or were you more visual? Oh, audio side, oh. always for me. I don't... Uh, I'm, I've always maintained that you can um, sound exactly like somebody, mm -hmm. but you can't look exactly like somebody. Mm -hmm. And so consequently, uh, I was... Oh, what you saw me do on the stage just now, he was on the wings, fox, peeping, I saw him. Yeah. Uh, I don't use any um, uh, wigs and hats and things. I I can't look like everybody, but I try to sound like everybody. Yeah, I believe you've made this point before about the, your um, television show, the fact that it takes half an hour just to get one little short excerpt done. Oh, what, dressing up, you mean? Yeah. Yes, that's very true. That can happen. Do you enjoy um, impersonating people, or do you sometimes get a, uh, fed up with the same characters all the time? No, 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 I never get fed up with them. I, I love them all dearly. They're, they're, uh, they are, in fact, people who have made me laugh. Mm -hmm. The people uh, whom I do, they, they make me laugh, mm -hmm. you know. New characters, um, do you do, in fact, an impersonation of a new character because they are very popular with the public, or is it because you think that you could put them over quite well? Oh, well, it's a little bit of both there, because, I mean, sometimes things that make me laugh perhaps don't make the majority of what I say the audience, uh, pe people coming to the audience, perhaps they wouldn't make them laugh. So that uh, it's a little bit of what makes me laugh and a little bit of what I think will make them laugh. Mm -hmm. Ever get any objections um, over the way you've taken off various people? Um, no, I've been very fortunate. Everybody's been very pleased and said, Thank you. <laughs> um, your most popular one. Have you got one which the audiences are clamoring for? Uh, it all depends, strangely enough, on what is on the television at yeah. the moment. Mm. Uh, for example, at the moment it's uh, Please Sir, or the cast, the entire cast of Please Sir, is very popular at the moment. Lovely. Um, a long summer season in Torquay. Yes, I'm loving every minute of it. You never guess. I, <laughs> I've been riding this morning. On the horse! <coughs> they're, they're very big, aren't they? No, I've never, <laughs> I've never been I've never been on a horse before in my life. Mm -hmm. And my little girl, who is eight, uh, she wanted to learn how to ride. And so I said, yes, certainly you can learn to ride. And off we went to the riding stables. And uh, when we got there, the lady said, uh, are you riding as well? And of course, not wishing to appear in any way inexperienced in front of my daughter, I said, oh, well, yes, of course. I've never been on a beast before in my life. Anyway, it was all very pleasurable, apart from the fact that I couldn't sit down for two days, but I'm getting used to that now. <laughs> uh, that explains to me. Mr. Henderson, please. Oh, Mr. Henderson, we're in the dressing room, you see, and that came to <laughs> <laughs> that right. I'm not going to try to answer a little bit of rumors and dreams here, but as I was, before I was really interrupted there, eh? um, <laughs> I can explain to the audience why Mr. Goodrod is in fact sitting on 17 inches of pure foam rubber tonight. <laughs> uh, looking around your dressing room here, you've got a load of greetings telegrams. Yes, people are very sweet and kind, you know, when we, when we do a, a, a season show, everybody sends telegrams. We send telegrams to one another saying good luck and that sort of thing. And as you can see, there's yeah. a formidable array there. Yeah, not um, sort of sending people out, but Dick Anderson, Bernard Bressel, Les Dawson. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, Les and I have known each other a long time. Mm. Um, and your mind was funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't mean it, Leslie, if you ever hear that. It's a nice boy. Mm -hmm. We're doing pantomime together, actually, mm -hmm. this year, Les and I, in, um, in Leeds. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good in two shoes. Okay. He's the left shoe and I'm the right shoe. <laughs> Any hobbies? Aha. Uh -huh. He said, pointing to uh, a galleon I've got. I'm, I'm in the process of making a, a galleon here on the on this little bench in the dressing room. And it's all uh, sort of beginning to look like a galleon now, which it didn't a few weeks ago. Do you specialize in ships? Yes, I like ships. I like doing those ships because they're all twiddly. Mm. Uh, and there's lots of relief to be painted on the hull and uh, many, many details on the back there. And it takes a long time, the longer it takes the better it is for me. Yeah. And of course you're really in Torquay, you're sort of in a haven for 
Chips of that kind, oh, aren't Oh, yes, love it. I love it all. I think it's super. It's a beautiful place. Uh, oh, that's lovely. You know, mm. really, I'm thrilled to bits with it. Mm -hmm. And when do you actually finish in Torquay? We finish on the 30th of September. Mm -hmm. Any plans after or before the pantomime? Before the pantomime, yes, I'm going to do some cabaret on some bits and um, a series of programmes called Joker's Wild. Yes. From uh, Yorkshire Television. Yorkshire Television, yes. Do you see those, darling? Yes, we see Oh, good. Well, I, yes. Oh, yes, splendid. Well, I shall be putting my little face in on those as well. Of course, you have your current series, Who Do You Do? Who Do You Do, as ever was, yes. Uh, there's been a spate lately, hasn't there, of television programmes of impersonations and uh, taking off historical characters, etc. That's very true. It's become a very popular thing. There was a time, um, a little while ago, when there wasn't anybody uh, doing impersonations. Mm. And then um, then there was Peter Sellers, Peter Kavanagh, and then I came along, and Mike Yarwood, he yeah. does some super impressions. And now all sorts of people seem to be doing impressions all over the place. Mm. There's a little girl here doing an impression of a stenographer. <laughs> yeah. Finally, um, 